Hi everybody, welcome back to another edition of Design With Me, Ashley D. And today we're going to change things up a little bit and I am actually going to vlog our trip to Pittsburgh. So what you see here is us going through the Liberty Tunnel and I would definitely recommend that if this is your first time visiting Pittsburgh to travel the Liberty Tunnel when you first come in because you get gorgeous views as you can see here of the city. And it's like you're driving smack dab through the middle of the city, which is something that we really loved uh, when we came in. So definitely check out the Liberty Tunnel. And that's if you're first time or not even first time, hey, if you wanna check this out and it's your gazillionth time coming to uh, Pittsburgh, it's always a nice sight. So our trip is gonna be broken up into three different parts. So the first part, we're gonna be staying out in Warrendale, PA. And this is our first morning there. Say, how you doing? Have a good day. Say, have a good day. Bye -bye. Say, bye-bye. We stayed at the Staybridge Suite out there in Warrendale, and I would definitely recommend this because it has a kitchen and everything, and also it's got a beautiful walking trail. So um, we definitely took advantage of the walking trails, and it goes actually directly behind the hotel itself and it's just a beautiful sight of the highway as well. I would turn it around, but iPhone won't let me, so I have to record another video. There we go. All right, Mark. Wait, wait, he's, he's going back to the garage on you, Mark. Get set, go. He on his head back. <laughs> Carver, why do you run like that? <laughs> All right, Carver. Okay. All right, man. And one thing that I will say that is absolutely important when you go on vacation is you want to make sure that um, you still continue their education. I try not to overwhelm them with too many days of education. We try to stick to at least two to three days a week of doing these little activities and I actually pack them down into a uh, activity book or an activity folder and if you want more information or you want me to do a video on, on exactly how I put everything together in their activity folder um, definitely leave me a comment below. Get one more right there. Right here. Yeah, you did it. Good job, buddy. Good job. Good job. So next up is our second half of the trip. We stayed at the Jury Inn Plaza Hotel, and that's in downtown Pittsburgh. We wanted a taste of the downtown life, and there is our suite. We had a pretty big suite. And I will say, go ahead and upgrade and get that big old suite. We love the Jury Inn because you got a lot of free perks with it. Uh, the first one was we had that cool mural that we got to take a picture of, and that's in downtown Pittsburgh. And then this particular location used to be a bank. Uh, they renovated into the Jury Inn Hotel, and they still have a lot of the old bank vaults and doors left. So this is just a pretty cool, budget-friendly way of seeing some cool um, bank vaults. And also they show you the insides of the walls and what they're made of as well. So that's just a cool little budget-friendly way to get a little mini museum tour of a bank. Now we're down by the waterfront and there's a beautiful bridge and we're actually going to walk that later on in the video. And there's some more uh, photo ops of us 
by that bridge and by the waterfront. We actually walked all the way over to the Duquesne Incline and I highly recommend the Duquesne Incline because as you're about to see in just a few seconds here, it has a gorgeous view of downtown Pittsburgh. I mean, you get Heinz Field, you get the waterfront, uh, you also on the right side, you get that beautiful fountain. And then of course you get downtown Pittsburgh. And here's some more aerial views and some more views at the top of the Duquesne Incline. Okay, so now we're heading back and there's the building that we're heading back to at the bottom of the Duquesne incline and now we're about to walk that bridge. I've never walked beside the highway before. This is so cool. And I wanted to say one of the perks of staying at the Jury Inn Hotel is that they have a happy hour where you get uh, free drinks and you also get free dinner. So that's another reason why we stayed at the Jury Inn. And now we're trying to rush and get back before uh, the happy hour ends. It ends right at seven o'clock and I believe um, it was about 6.15 here. So we had to hurry up and get back <laughs> to our hotel. Since we were downtown, we wanted to hit up another spot that people were absolutely raving about, and it's called Chicken. And they have big, huge sandwiches. Um, I will say that it doesn't rival with my favorite pie pie sandwich, but it was pretty decent. I wanted to show you guys those big, beautiful window views that we had from our suite. And I wanted to say shout out to Ashley that works at the Jury Inn Hotel in Pittsburgh. Thank you so much uh, for putting us in this room. She says it's one of her favorite rooms due to all of the beautiful um, views that you get of the city. And I mean, our suite had four windows full of beautiful scenery and it was almost like we got a 180 view of the city you know no matter where we were um, in our suite so i just wanted to show you guys what kind of view we had and how uh, much of the city that we got to see from our suite And I will say the next part of our downtown excursion is bike riding. And I will say riding with a car through downtown, you don't get to see very much. I mean, you're going so fast and you have to keep up, you know, with traffic and everything that you don't really get to stop and enjoy uh, the scenery around you. So I said, how about a bike ride? You're about to see here. We did a tour with Bike the Berg and I managed to get a little informational video with Val. Thanks again, Val. Today, I am here with Val. Hi, Hello. Val. <laughs> She's with the Bike the Berg Tours. So if you are in the Pittsburgh area, definitely come see Val. And she's going to give us a quick rundown of what they offer. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Ashley. So we are offering bike tours of the city, three-hour bike tours, as well as bike rentals. And Ashley and her family uh, um, luckily just had some fun. I'm very happy that they had, yeah, kiddos. <laughs> Had some fun rolling out all our kids' gear and exploring the city. Pittsburgh is a wonderful biking city. And then we also offer walking tours. So all kinds of different themed tours through the city. The bike tour is all flat. Pittsburgh is known for its hills, right? Yes. <laughs> you saw some hills, lots of bridges. Uh, but yeah, um, easy to ride for everyone. So yeah, please join us sometime. <laughs> okay, so this is the carriage that um, Aaliyah rode in. This is actually for uh, two kids, so two kids can actually sit down in there, and that's pretty cool. And they can get um, nice views of the city as well as they feel like they're a part of you actually biking up and down those trails. And then it also comes with a nice uh, bike as well. And it comes with a lock. Then you have this storage compartment right here in the front. And then you also have a place for your water bottles. And of course, you know, my kids are a little bit bigger than most. So we had to get two separate um, types of uh, kids things. So um, this one is kind of like a car seat. It sits on the back. 
and it straps. Three. Oh, it's a three part harness, um, but it keeps the kids nice and snug. And then I also like this part too, that keeps their feet down as well while they're riding. And then this is the bike that Corey rode on and it's got the same thing, uh, lock. It's got a little storage compartment and then you have your uh, water down there. That's, that's Corey's bike. And then there's mine. And then I also wanted to show you all the helmets as well. They have uh, different sizes from kids all the way up to adults. First, there's Leah with her helmet. What, the flower power. Flower power. <laughs> Corey just had to show me up here that he can ride and balance Carver, right? So you're gonna see later on in the video, my tragedy of riding. But uh, Corey did pretty good um, with his. Um, the challenge is when you're riding somebody on the back, you definitely have to know how to balance, whether it's in the car seat or it's in the little uh, carriage thing that I had on the back of my bike. <laughs> you can't do all that. <laughs> Big old parent Corey just scolding me because I was trying to record for y'all and bike <laughs> and almost went into the river there. As you can see, it's no really guards up. You know, they have those pillars, but it's no really guards up to stop you from going into the river. So yeah, we're going to be a little bit safer uh, later on in the video as I um, am recording. <laughs> well, if it's, well, here's, let me take Okay, y'all, I promise y'all I have the hang of riding and recording now. <laughs> so here's another video of me going down the trail. Say hey. Riding a bike with my daughter attached to the back is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> it's so cool. Just the little things in life, right? I'm gonna have to give me one of these when I get to the house. So on to more of my budget-friendly travel. Um, as a part of our bike ride, we did a bike tour through this cool museum of bikes. And guess what? It is absolutely free. Uh, they do have a donation bin if you want to make donations, but it's definitely no pressure to make a donation for this museum for absolutely free. Uh, they have cool things in there from that butt powered bicycle, which mind blows me to how somebody could power a bike bouncing up and down on it with their butt to get it to go. Um, they also had the Batman bicycle as well. And then they had some cool uh, hallways that you could take pictures in that was full of uh, bike accessories. Here's some more shots that we got of different things we passed on our bike trail. Um, there's a submarine uh, that's really cool to tour. Um, I also got a picture on our bike at the waterfront. And then we passed by Heinz Stadium when there was a game going on. And you can actually bike right past uh, Heinz Stadium as they were playing. It was the Steelers and the Browns playing. wanted to talk to you all about a couple of other hidden food gems and the first one is called the fudge farm they make these delicious milkshakes and they top them off with other sweet delicious treats here are a couple of the milkshakes that Corey and I had while we were there they have these cool photo op swings that you can take pictures on make sure you visit the fudge farm and the next food gem on my list is called Back to the Future. The place is just as cool as the name. I so love it. You know I'm a Back to the Future fan. But they have the most amazing burgers I've ever tasted. Uh, this is Koi's burger. He had the Hawaiian burger. And then my burger, of course, had a honey bun. So instead of regular buns, they used honey buns. And they had an amazing bourbon sauce. Thing is made to order, so definitely stop by here. Back to the Future. So good. Now we're back to our old stomping ground, the State Bridge. It's almost 80 degrees. Can you believe that? In Pittsburgh, we brought the warm weather to Pittsburgh with us. <laughs> For all my moms out there, just a bit of advice. If you are staying in the hotel and you're waiting on somebody um, like me, for instance, my husband, to get off of work, um, definitely 
find you a park or a nice walking trail to get the kids out of the room because as you know they're anything like mine they're bouncing around and of course we're not the only ones there we got people underneath us and everything and two just to get them to wind down for that night this is a great way to blow off some of that energy is to have them out here running and playing around on these uh trails and um i just want to say one last thing while we are quarantining i know a lot of people aren't comfortable with going to the playgrounds so the walking trails are definitely another alternative to avoiding a big crowd or just a lot of kids playing you know on the playground so um like like this trail we've been on this trail now for about five minutes and we haven't encountered a soul yet so <laughs> this is just the perfect area back here for them to run around and play and for them to be them wow that was a huge grasshopper <laughs> but yeah so pray for me y'all hope we won't see anything too crazy out here since i'm by myself with them ah, i'm scared of bugs Ready? On your mark. Oh, you cheating, Leah. Go. 